Good, good evening, everybody. Welcome to Under the Rowan Tree. This Tonight's topic is making crystals, which is more of a science experiment and something to do um, with your kids and, you know, teach them something and talk about the um, importance of crystals and um, <clears throat> how how things, um, how you can pull things together. So, um, I don't know. <clears throat> okay, so, this week, um, tonight we're doing the making crystals. Tomorrow's Tea Time Tuesday. We're going to go over some tea mixtures, um, <clears throat> and uses Wednesday what did I say making mojo bags so if anybody has been making um, the mask and you have any leftover um, material you don't know what to do with make a mo make a mojo bag and we'll talk about the different different types of bags that you can make um, Thursday we're going to go over, I call, call them Wiccan Laws, but it, there's more to that. Um, have a really long list. Um, just because I don't want to break it up into two parts, I'm going to try to get them all in on one night. And then on Friday, we're going to talk about fairies. So that's this week. Um, okay, so tonight... Um, I have the recipe for Epsom salt crystals, but I don't have Epsom salt, and I <clears throat> forgot to get some at the store. So, the other night we were talking about herbs, and, and I was talking about elm. And the recipe for that is a half a cup of water, two and a half tablespoons of elm. I actually still have my alm crystals from whenever I made them. I had, I'll tell you how I did it after I go through these. Um, borax crystal, which is one cup water, four tablespoons of borax. <clears throat> and then salt, which if, if you want to make one, um, this is something everybody has, water and salt. So... It's one cup of water to six tablespoons of salt. And make your make your own crystal. And if you have borax, do the try the borax. <clears throat> but when I had done mine, I had four glasses set up. And it's better if you have food coloring because then you can create the color of the crystal that you want to. Um, but I had four glasses and I put the mixture in there, and I had the food coloring in there. So my yellow was an was the alm, and um, or alm, whatever you want to call it, and it's about this big. Um, okay, let me show you. Um, index card. So, it's about that size. About that size. Yeah. <clears throat> and I, it's packed away, so I don't have it out. Otherwise, I'd show you. And I formed a couple little ones in the process. So, let's just head right into the kitchen. And we will get started. Um, using jars, just like, no. Just like mason jars. And um, pipe cleaners. Uh, you can use pipe cleaners because they're already already colored. Or you can take a snippet of the pipe cleaner and put it at the end of um, end of the string. Bear with me a moment, please. Alright, so, I'm going 
to put the borax in the first one, the alum, and the salt. Now what I did, this is just a skewer and a pipe cleaner. And I have it rolled up at the at the end and wrapped around. And this is gonna go down into the jar and suspend. See how the yellow is suspended. Now where it's suspended is where the crystals will start forming from. So make sure that you have it up far enough to where it has plenty of room to grow. If it's on the bottom, it will end up with a, uh, with a flat surface. Okay. So water is boiling starting to boil well it was boiling then had it boiled and then i stopped it hello lady dawn hello heidi happy to have you here so while we're waiting for the water to boil i will get this open we'll get the herbs well, no, these aren't herbs. We will get these minerals in their jars. Because that's what these are. These are minerals. Like I said, a science experiment. It's a science experiment. It's a chance to teach kids about... crystals and putting your energy into it. And since you're making these, it's, um, that's your energy. Okay, so borax. Four tablespoons of borax. So, as I said earlier, in case you missed it, you can do your own right here along with me. Um, if you don't have borax and you don't have the alum, you, everybody has salt. And it is one cup of water to six tablespoons of salt. So, we're going to do that one next. your base. Okay, now measuring out six tablespoons of salt. One. <laughs> You can do this with sugar too. I we did it not too long ago with Lydia. I thought, oh, this will be a great project. It turned out to be the largest clump of sugar I've ever seen in my life. I liked it. Ben said he liked it. And six tablespoons of salt. Um, what I had said earlier, you, you um, take the pipe cleaner. You can take um, a, a paper clip. 
you know, like bend off, break off a piece, um, put it to an end of a string, it'll still form on that. The reason I'm doing pipe cleaners is because they're already colored and I do not have any food coloring. If you have food coloring and you want to use fishing line, or you know, to for it to form on, then uh, then you can do that. Um, and just make each one a different color. My elm, my elm that I'm making purple, I have it as yellow, which I should have done that. Eh, it's not, it's not too late. I think I'm going to do that. That way all my elm is, is yellow. So, all right. Elm is half cup water. Two and a half tablespoons of ah. oh, I can't do that. Uh, a little something I said the other night about Alm was that for women it helps tighten up certain things. Certain things that would make the men happy. And I'm not talking about our mouth, ladies. Okay, that's one. One. and a half. What did I miss? everybody. <laughs> Hi, I'm here. Okay, so just so I don't cross-contaminate, each jar will have their own spoon. And here we go, borax number one. Oh no, I have a problem. I have to measure it out. Okay. Sorry about that, jumping ahead. One cup water. It drops right down below, below the line. All right, salt. We need one cup water. So clear that way you know it's completely dissolved. And that one is the 
purple one. And elm is half a cup water. until clear. While we are making tea, since we'll be in the in the kitchen. All right. Wait a minute. Well, you're behind. Mm -hmm. Hey, say bad words. No. I want to see what comes up. Sorry, I'm reading through. Say what are shins? Bite me. Um, Elm, A L U M, Elm. Yes, we're making crystals, and so I said it's a great project for for you to do with your kids. Um, I the thing about making these is they are made from water, so you don't want to get them wet because they'll um, they'll dissolve afterwards. You can oh I'm way too close up in here. Yeah, there we go. Whew. <laughs> so and that's this is a pretty short one tonight. Um, like I said, making that give give the salt one a try. I'll uh, I'll take pictures. And um, and post them up. So if anybody has any questions about the recipes, um, so love you guys. Thanks for joining me. See you tomorrow night for Tea Time Tuesday. Um, I'm gonna talk about making your own teas at home and um, figuring out the the properties and what it's good for. Maybe um, something around, you have around the house will uh, be just what you need. Um, yep, just what the doctor ordered. Just what the witch ordered. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, love you guys. And see you tomorrow night. Blessings.